Hello, YouTube family. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. So, I'm going to be doing the, another devotional today. And start with reading from my Bible. Uh, Ephesians 2, 1 through 7. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world, and of the ruler of the king, kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our sinful nature and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature objects of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Okay, now the devotional. It is called God's Unfailing Love. Do you feel loved by God? Let me ask the question a different way. Did you know that as a believer, it's possible to mentally understand God loves you without actually sensing it? In fact, the reverse can be true as well. We may say we love God all the while knowing that our feelings of affection for him are limited. There are a variety of reasons that a Christian might not sense love from God or affection from him for him, some of which stem from childhood experiences. Perhaps love was absent in the home, or maybe it was it just wasn't expressed verbally. Or demonstrated in practical ways. An individual's personality could also be part of the equation. Some people are naturally expressive while others are more reserved in their emotions. Although this discrepancy between knowledge and experience can be distressing there is hope. Meditating on all the ways God has demonstrated his love, his love for us, for you, and asking him to help you perceive it, can begin to move that truth from your hand, from your head to your heart. Remember that love is God's very nature, not something conditioned on your performance. And if you've been adopted into his family through faith in his son, God has chosen to lavish kindness on you in Christ. Believing and accepting that you are loved by the Father will in turn affect 
your feelings for him. Commit to knowing him more intimately and accurately through his word, and your affection for him will begin to grow. As you spend time with him in scripture and prayer, you will discover that the saying to know him is to love him is certainly true of God. <clears throat> Something you can read is Psalms 107 through 111. All right, that's it for now. I hope you like the reading. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Until I see you again, God bless you all. And goodbye.